In this overview, we are going to discuss dual axis charts. In DHIS 232, it is now possible to create dual axis charts within the same graph type, as we can see in the example here. This is not possible in previous versions of DHIS 2. We can see where this type of chart may be useful. In the example shown here, we are combining aggregate, numeric data elements with reporting rates that are represented as percentages. Let's go ahead and make the dual axis chart that we showed in our example. All the input options for creating a chart of this type are the same as any other chart. You still select any data, periods, organization units, and categories as you would normally. In our example, we will just select some data and leave the other selections as default in order to update the chart with some data values. Let us select two data items. First, we can select a numeric data element. We can select a data element from the immunization data element group. Second, let us select a reporting rate. Immunization is reported as part of the child health data set in this example, so let us select this data set in order to relate the two items we are displaying. Let's go ahead and update the chart in order to see the output. When we initially update the chart, we can see that the display is not ideal. We have the percentages associated with the reporting rates being very difficult to read as they are on the same axis as the values for BCG doses given. In order to make a dual axis chart, click on the settings button associated with your data. You will see a new option. Manage Axes. Select this in order to create the dual axis chart. Here we can decide which data items belong to which axes. As we can see, both the reporting rate and the BCG data element value are currently on the same axes. Let us have the reporting rate appear on the second axis. We can go ahead and update the chart in order to see the output. After I update the chart, it is much easier to observe the relationship between these two data items. The reporting rate has been moved to the second axis on the right-hand side of the screen, while BCG doses given is on the left axis. The items belonging to each axis are identified via the legend at the bottom of the chart, as well as the axis text on each side of the chart. And support to add labels to these axes will also be coming soon. The dual axis chart type has the potential to be useful under a number of different scenarios, particularly when correlating numbers and percentages together on the same chart. If you have any questions about this feature, please do not hesitate to let us know on the community of practice.